So, still talking media day, and uh, we got the Houston Rockets. Um, Russell Westbrook, um, <laughs> really funny dude, actually. He begins the video, says uh, there's like a thousand waters under the table. And uh, he ends on speaking with the media dude who doesn't mention his name, but um, he talks about his excitement. Uh, it's a new chapter of him coming to Houston. And so he talks about his feelings of uh, playing with James Harden. important part um, playing with different guys uh, new organization coaching staff medical staff new fans the whole lot I think it's an uh, exciting overall experience I'm looking forward to here Russell is asked about Samuel Adams which uh, the, the gentleman means he's actually talking, referring to Stephen Adams but he says Samuel Adams um, versus Clint Capella and uh, Russell explains that these two gentlemen are two different uh, types of players. And so um, the relationship that he had with Steven Adams will not be exactly the same as Clint Capella. Clint Capella is a whole different player, different style of game. He has to get used to that type of game. And so um, that's what Russell was saying. And Russell also mentioned that, uh, you know, there's no real need for him to be in control of the ball. He already showed you what he can do. He already proved to us that he can uh, go out and average a triple-double and, and uh, go out and, and, and command the floor the way he does and, and uh, lead his team the way he does. So here he, his goal should be just to get a championship. Uh, same with James. They, they both find themselves in the same situation. They both need to really be just get a championship and uh, focus on the team aspect. You know what? I think it's interesting, um, just for me, because I impact the game in so many different ways, and I've proven that uh, for many years, and that's why I'm not worried, because I don't have to have a ball to impact the game, I don't have to score, um, I don't have to do anything. I can defend, I can rebound, I can pass, I can lead. Um, my main goal, main focus is to win. Um, I can go a game and be scoreless, and if we win, James Harden was also interviewed by um, the media and uh, he talked about his excitement to begin the season, um, getting back to those um, three games and four nights, uh, those that the grind of the season. Just, uh, everybody that uh, has returning is going to be exciting. 
James Harden also discusses the his strategy or the strategy for the season. Um, it's a game by game season, so you know every game's not going to be the same. You're not going to approach every game the same, and so they'll have to play by ear and, and uh, really get used to each other and playing on the floor. Yeah, that's the floor. Take for every individual player, every team, every every organization, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, for us, it's just putting the, putting the, the puzzle together. You know, obviously we all know that uh, long of a regular season, you know, it is, and it's going to be a lot of ups and downs and all that good stuff, but. Uh, it's, it's all sacrifice. It's all knowing that you know there's a big picture, and you know things happen throughout the course of the year, throughout the course of the NBA season. You just uh, you just try to try to weather the storm and, and get past it, and, uh, and and focus on the bigger picture. Another thing James Harden talked about was accountability. Um, how you know it won't necessarily be in James's hand at the end of the, at the fourth quarter buzzer beater or Russ's hands. You know. It's all going to be about the feel of the game, and so um, that both players have to stand up and take responsibility and accountability uh, for what they what they perform or what they put forth to the table. I'm, I'm very excited, not, not just myself. I know just from him having a you know entire organization for 11 years that he has to kind of you know uh, play for. Um, he just comes to an entire different chapter in his life to go out there and just play and don't have to stress and worry about. Uh, the pressure of, of carrying an entire organization. Um, I'm excited for him. You know, I think the front office and, and coaches and teammates are all excited. So uh, tomorrow is a, is a beginning and a journey to something great. I mean, uh, that's the goal every year. I think for every individual player, every team, every every organization, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, for us, it's just putting, the, putting the, the puzzle together. You know, obviously we all know that uh, long of a regular season, you know, it is, and it's going to be a lot of ups and downs and all that good stuff. But uh, it's, it's all sacrifice. It's all knowing that you know there's a big picture, and you know, things happen throughout the course of the year, throughout the course of the NBA season. You just uh, you just try to try to weather the storm and, and get past it, and, uh, and and focus on the bigger picture. And again, he goes on talking about his excitement to play here in uh, Houston with Russell. And so, um... We don't know yet. Let's <laughs> figure it out. I think certain things happen throughout the course of the game that you just go, like, okay, this is what's going to happen. This is what's happening right now. That you just ride with. You know, like, if Russ got it going, if Russ is on one of them games that we all have seen before, guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> Sit back and watch the show. You know, and vice versa. Or if Eric, Eric can get it going and go up at 30 40. Like, that's just a part of basketball. So you can't say, sit here and say, oh, well, Russell's going to have the, the basketball for the first half and I'm going to have the ball for the second. No, it's things happen throughout the course of the game that you just flow with and, and, and go with it. So, um, like I said, all of us in this locker room and in this front office is, is, has one goal and that's to win. So, however that happens, it's going to happen and we're going to, you know, like I said, figure it out. Um. I think it'll be a good match with these guys here. There's a lot of good teams out there. There's really no one number one contender. Uh, you got the Clippers, you got the Lakers, you got Houston, you got the Pelicans, you got Brooklyn coming up. You know, so there's a lot of good teams. Milwaukee's still out there, so there's still a lot of good teams uh, that we have to look forward to this year. Uh, but that's Houston right there. We got Brooklyn coming up next. Uh, definitely, again, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Peace.